Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. All right, question. Tell me. Have you ever thought about yes. what it would be like okay. if you um, took your dick right. and you put it under another dude's dick from behind I'm with so you. it looked like a dude had two dicks but one of them was smaller? <laughs> how, is that, how is that possible? <laughs> no, if you go behind a dude. Right. Okay, imagine you have like... I imagine you have like a like a just like a like a foot and a half long dick. Yeah, not hard and, to imagine. And then you stand just behind. Think back to this morning in the shower. <laughs> and then you stand behind a dude. Right. Like you're hugging him from behind, right? Uh, yeah, sure. And then your dick is very large, and underneath his dick. Right. So it looks like the dude in front has two dicks. Right. Was there a question involved in this? Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I can. You just specifically described it. All right, then. Well. That's the end of that. Nice job. Next question. <laughs> Would you like to do that? <laughs> With me. Right now. Instead of fighting youngster Timmy. Uh-huh. Uh. -huh. uh yeah. Go turn, Snacko! Yes, no. I mean, no. Not, not really. Oh. Listen, first of all, I'm flattered that you think my dick is huge enough that... Like, it, no, I was the one behind you. Uh, so, yes, no. Like, I just go silent for the next nine and a half minutes <laughs> of the episode. <laughs> yes, no. I mean, yeah, and yeah, no, wait. Like, come on, you can't answer with two answers. I don't know what yes means That's anymore. like fucking filling in the entire Scantron yeah, on a test. <laughs> absolutely right. Did you ever he hear the, uh, the legend that if you used... Uh, on your SATs, if you just kept writing abacadabra over and over with your Scantron sheet, you could get like a 1200. What? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you'd take the multiple choices and just yeah. A B. Yeah. But is it A B A or A B B A? Uh, ooh. Oh God! Now I know why I failed the SATs. Because <laughs> uh, if you if it's A B A versus A B B A, then it throws off the whole rhythm, now, doesn't it? Did you say you're right? I, I think I think it's I think it's one B. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, did, uh, did you stay in, uh, high school long enough to take the SATs? Yeah, dude. How'd you, how'd you like them? I think I had to take the SATs. I think what happened was, I, I dropped out of school. Right. But I still had to take the SATs. So, like, I wasn't in school for, like, two years. And then I went in to take the SATs and I, like, ran into a bunch of people I used to go to school with. Right. And they were all like, where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, oh, I just I just stopped going to school. And they were like, what? Like, you could do that? <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> I still have dreams like that, where I'm, like, in school, and I'm like, I could just not go tomorrow. Yeah. I can, yeah. I don't even have to be in this dream. I could just wake up. And then I wake up, and I'm like, oh, man. Yeah, I was in school. I gotta go back to sleep again. <laughs> and I'm gonna go forget all of the things I thought about not going to school. All that sleep knowledge that I acquired. Yeah. Like, for uh, example... Uh, shit, I'm trying to remember SAT questions. I did, um, I can't remember my exact score, but I, I, I really did well in the English half and just completely fucking garbaged up the math half. I think I was the opposite. Really? Yeah, I never liked reading, um, but I really liked math. I, I could never, I could never get into math. I always had trouble with, um, any subject where there was one answer. You know, like that was hard for me to like wrap my head around as a kid. Really, it was the opposite for me. Yeah, same with Ninja Brian. He's like, why would you like essay questions where like it's completely subjective up to the teacher's whim? I'm like, but that's where the magic happens, like in your imagination. <laughs> He's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just says that regardless of what you're saying. That is true. That is true. Ninja Brian, for anyone who doesn't know him personally... Is an asshole. No! He's a theoretical physicist. Oh, a, which means he's an asshole. And a brilliant one at that. Because he should... He should be thinking more about... My emotions. Well, he is very, very far on the spectrum of... Autism? No. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no, he's, he's very far on the side of, like, science, uh, against religion, against, um... Uh, any kind of pseudoscience like mm -hmm. uh, astrology or uh, um, acupuncture, things like that. Things things that haven't been proven. Do, okay. you, do you know where I'm going with this? The the, the pamphlet. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Please tell that story. I love it. Well, it's not like I need the pamphlet to really tell it well. But there's an organic food store nearby where we live, and the food is outstanding. So I took Brian there, and. Um, 
he uh, he found a pamphlet. Uh, he's like, the food is good here, but like, I it just this shit like with like no GMOs and like all these things like that drives him crazy because it's it's stuff that can't be proven like antioxidants and blah blah blah. So he finds. Well, it's also true that like GMOs are the reason that we can like feed the entire world. I'm completely unclear on what they are. It's genetically modified organics. Okay. Well, I, I think that's what the O stands for, but genetically modified foods. What if it was just onions, like genetically monstrous onions? Well, that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> that's what I got, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's because you know that like the way that food is grows in nature, like it it can't it can't sustain like humanity. Right. So that there was this dude who had to like come up with a way to make more food, and then he did. And then it was like, all right. And plus, like, genetically modified stuff is just evolution. Yeah. So everything is technically genetically modified. Oh, that's... Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's, uh... What, what drove him nuts was the the pamphlet he found where it was it was uh, by a, a naturologist, I believe was the, the term. And he was like, that's not a doctor. And he's like, that's not a real thing. I'm like, okay. But this guy says he has his ND. And he was like, that's not a real degree. <laughs> and then you pointed out that ND could actually stand for not, not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my ND. Oh, man, that was fantastic. And, but like, we just loved like reading pieces of the pamphlet to him and it driving him insane. Oh, like how they specialized in color therapy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And alive water and dead oh, water. Oh yeah, water therapy. I don't, I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> and, but it, it. Drives... Are you talking about stagnant water? The water that has like maggots in it? Ugh. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Like swamp water. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he. It really pisses him off because like, he's like people fucking die. Because, you know, they, a lot of these things will claim to cure cancer, and then people don't get the listen to actual doctors when it comes to things like cancer. Oh, and, sure. And then they fucking straight up die. And so, like, he, he it drives him nuts. So we had a wonderful road trip to Palm Springs where we just read this entire pamphlet to him and watched as his white knuckle rage <laughs> began to take over. <laughs> oh, yeah. That shit's great. It is amazing. It's always... And, and it's like, we specialize in, and it's just like this gigantic list of things. Right. And it's like, nobody could ever specialize in that many things if they were, like, actually a thing. Yeah, it's kind of the opposite of specialization. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get super technical yeah, about if it. If you can be generally good at, I don't know... What was some of the other shit that was I, in there? God, was like, I wish I, I I'll bring over the pamphlet next. Foot cleaning therapy and shit like that. It's like what's this? It was just it was just words. It was just like words that sounded good, but I I did ask him like one of the things I see in a lot of stuff like that are are the getting rid of uh, free radicals. Like your body is a lot healthier if you get rid of free radicals. And I was like, do you believe in free radicals? And he was like, yeah, they're radical. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay. Cool. Um, I'm gonna catch an Oddish. What is? Oh that? shit! What does that mean? Uh, dude, an Oddish is a fucking Pokemon, you idiot. I I know, but what is it? Well, he's. I want to know if you know. He's not quite odd. He's more Oddish. Oh okay. Yeah. Hi. Oh, a fucking matchup! <laughs> he's adorable. Yeah. Well, you know what? He's going fucking down. You know, along with Geo, dude, he's the second Pokemon here who's constantly in a state of like, check out my biceps. Yeah. Well, good, good because he's fucking Machop. He can machop your ass into a new dimension. <laughs> you just did that with Splart. I don't care about Splart anymore. Good. I don't know why I'm sending out my rock Pokemon against the fighting Pokemon. Yeah, Doesn't check out the difference. biceps. No, check out these biceps. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? My biceps are magnitude five. <laughs> oh yeah, well my low kick is low. <laughs> yeah, well, mm, can't deny yeah. that. Yeah, magnitude five again, you're fucking dead. Fucking Machop is dead. I had a disadvantage and I still- oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought that Magnitude 5 Earthquake would've fucking- oh, yeah, oh. yeah, I guess- I guess he wasn't Takes part that tackle. of the Earth. Tackle. Done. Got him. Done. See you in hell. With your good hair. Your uh, strong yeah, he biceps. Like a, he has a trihawk. Yeah, he's a- yeah, he's a nice head of hair. He's got, like, the Rufio. Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Rufio. <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah. That Geo like dude's that. like, yo, I got two biceps. <laughs> and I'm like, damn! 
How about a magnitude? Yeah. Even though you're floating up in the air, it still hurts you. Turn Snacko is just doing like the Jersey fucking fist bump. Yeah. Like the fist, look, boom. Yeah. 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 Oh. Magnitude. Oh shit, magnitude wow. 10. It's a big ass fucking earthquake. Bitch, you better tie your shit down to the wall. Cause that time is going down. Damn. Goddamn right he fainted. Is that it? Mm. You done? Turn Snacko grew to level 18. Oh, fuck I don't know why it. I'm leveling it up when I'm trying to level up for Misty, so... Uh... Oh, yeah, excellent point. Hey, next time on Game Grumps, maybe I'll actually catch an Oddish this time, even though that was my mission this entire episode. Which I didn't establish up top. <laughs> so maybe we should have kept that to ourselves. Next time!